Welcome to another edition of Visual X Masterclass with Mr. Kanyele. Today I want us to take a few problems and run with Euclidean geometry. Remember that it's all about, about 13 theorems. This 10 plus the 3 grade 12 theorem. The first one says uh, triangles with equal altitude have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. The second one being proportionality theorem. A line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides these other two sides in the same proportion. The third one being the similarity theorem. With those three plus this ten, you are armed with every solution for your Euclidean geometry. Remember these two when you prove them, we said we use uh, your grade 9, congruency. This three has something to do with the center. When they say something is a center, you think of these three theorems. This three has something to do with the tangent. This two has, to, has something to do with the cyclic quadrilateral. So when you read your statement, it will guide you to where you'll find the solution. If they say particular lines are tangent, the solution will come from this one, this three. Tan core theorem, tan radius theorem, two tangents from the same point. If they say cyclic quad, there are only two theorems. The sum of interior angles of a, a cyclic quad are supplementary, or the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. If they talk about a center, think of the center theorem. The angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Angle subtended by the diameter, diameter passes through the center, it is equal to 90 degrees. Angles in the same segment are equal, as long as they are subtended by the same arc or chord, they will be equal. I want us to look at this next problem. Remember one thing and one thing only, we are being asked the theorems more than what you are being asked there. Calculate the length of AB. This is the diagram that we are given. We are given that line AE, that line is called the tangent. It is the tangent. Line AB is also a tangent. What is this taking me through to? It is taking me to this theorem. I've got two tangents that are coming from the same point. It means that this one is equal to that one. Now, given this part, you only look for theorems where, where, where you are. Look at AE, it is a tangent. Look at AB, it is also a tangent. And they are coming from the same point outside the circle. Then they are equal. So the first thing that you need to conclude there is that if this is x, this one will also be x. Because these two lines are the same. They are both they are tangents from the same point outside the circle. Ah, what else do I know? Alright. I also know, I can also see this theorem here. What is the name of this line? It is called a tangent. And what is the name of this one? It is, a, it is called a chord. But there's also another theorem that we, we should always know, that whenever a radius, this is a radius, remember this line is a diameter, so half of it is a radius. This is the radius and this is a tangent. Whenever a radius meets a tangent, we also know that 90 degrees is formed. There's also 90 degrees here, I know this for a fact. All right, that's all that we know. So what is it that we are being asked for to find here? Calculate the length of AB. We are just looking for the length of AB. Remember, this is AB, which is the same as X. In other words, we are just looking for X. Now, I want you to, to go to your grade 8, grade 9, which is very much important. Because when you are confused with grade 11 or grade 12 stuff, think of the theorems that you have learned in grade 9. I can see this triangle. I can clearly see this triangle. What type of a triangle is this one? Ah, it's a right angle triangle. Do I know any theorem that has to do with a right angle triangle? Yes, I know. It's called the theorem of Pythagoras. What is it saying? It says the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. In other words, this side squared will be equal to this side squared plus this side squared. And there's only one unknown there, which is x. So this is doable. Now, once you, you are done with the theorems from grade 12, number one, two tangents from the same point. If that is x, this one will be x. Number two, whenever you've got a radius or a diameter, whenever it meets a tangent, 90 degrees will be formed. Once you establish that fact, right angle triangle will come out. Then you'll go to your grade 8, grade 9 and, and, and apply the theorem of Pythagoras, which says AC squared. Let's write it down. Your Pythagoras will then be saying AC squared 
Oh, let me start with a b squared. a b squared uh, plus b c squared is equals to a c squared. Where did I get this one from Pythagoras theorem? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Let's push in the values. Let's substitute. What do we have in AB? Remember that we're looking for AB. AB is the same as X in this particular case. Let's push in X squared. Plus, what is BC? What is written in BC? It is X plus 7. So it's X plus 7 all squared. This is the same as, what is AC squared? It is 13 squared. Right? I've just done this simple substitution. I know this X squared. Plus, uh, let's break that one. What is X times X? It is X squared. What is X times 7? X times 7 is 7X. Double that, 14X. And what is 7 times 7? It is 49. Right. Uh, let's take this 13 squared to this side. What is 13 squared? It is 169. So it's going to be minus 169. We'll be left with nothing on the other side. Remember, that's where your algebra comes in handy now. Remember, you are just looking for x, a, b. Length of a, b is the same as x. This a, b is the same as x. So that's what we're looking for. Once you find x, you've got your a, b. Ah, uh, x squared. So I know that I'm going to have two values of x because my x is to the power 2. I'm going to have two roots there. So you go back to your algebra, factorization. Right? Let's, 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 uh, let's, let's look at like terms. What is x squared plus x squared? It is 2x squared. What else do I have? I have 14x. So it's plus 14x. Uh, what is... Uh, 169 minus 49 it's gonna be minus uh, 9 minus 9 is 0 uh, 2 120 yes it's gonna be 120 right this is equals to 0 I did find 120 9 minus 9 is 0 6 minus 4 is 2 then we're left with that 1 so it's minus 120 right this is what we have we've got 2x squared plus 14x minus 20. What do we do now? We factorize. What is the first step when you factorize? Is to open your eyes and look for a common factor. You don't calculate it, you just open your eyes and look for it. Something that is common in these three terms. Uh, 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 we can see that two is common. To make life easier, we divide everything by two. If we divide this by two, I will be left with x squared, plus, divide this by two, is seven x minus uh, 120 divided by 2 is 60. This is equals to 0. From here, you factorize. You open two sets of brackets equal to 0. You've got x and x. Right. You are looking for factors of 60. That will give us 7. We set those are 5. 5 and what? That will give us 7. It's 5 and 12. Right. If you add or subtract these two, we must get 7. So how do I get 7? If 12 is positive and 5 is negative, that's where we'll get, be able to get uh, this 7. So this must be positive. The bigger number will take the sign of the middle term. Right, that's what we have. Now we conclude. We're then going to say x is equal to 5 or x is equal to minus 12. These are the two solutions that we have of x. But remember, we're just looking, the questions was very clear. Calculate the length. What is the length? It is the distance. And the distance is always positive. Therefore, whenever you find the negative answer, you reject it. This is not applicable. Therefore, AB will be equals to 5 units. Whatever units that we have been given there, that's how we'll go about finding the length of AB.